to help women in distress disha app was launched by our government any 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 woman any woman in distress Like wait, wait, wait. Any woman in distress can either call police or by simply shaking the mobile, the police will come to her rescue within minutes. This app has received tremendous response with over 1.36 crores downloads till date and 1.11 crore registered users. as a comprehensive measure to address the issues that directly or indirectly concern women and girl child for the first time my government has presented gender budget during budget sessions 2021 22 social justice now recognizing that social justice cannot be attained without political empowerment my government has taken several measures to empower economically and socially deprived sections of the society within the council of ministers within the council of ministers 50% of the posts in the first round and 70% of the posts in 70 uh, second round were given to sc st bc and minorities furthermore out of five deputy cm posts four posts that is 80% were given to sc st bc minorities within the zilla parishad chairman posts within within the zilla parishad chairman posts nine posts that is 70% out of 13 were given to sc st bc and minorities furthermore my government has ensured that among nominated posts and nominated works 50% be reserved to sc st bc and minorities and an act has been brought to this effect accordingly out of 137 various corporation chairman posts 58% were given to sc st bc and minorities to, to look after the welfare of the backward classes and to implement the government schemes designed for bcs 56 new bc corporations have been established duly covering 139 castes three corporations were formed for scs and one corporation has been formed for sts to effectively implement the programs of the government for these sections of the society my government is implementing various other schemes that directly promote improvement and well being of the underprivileged and vulnerable classes these include providing free power to 15.14 lakh sc and 4.5 lakh st households up to 200 units per month under the jagjeevan jyoti scheme i feel very happy to mention that my government during the past 45 months has implemented several schemes in a transparent manner by transferring an amount of rupees 1.97 lakh crores through dbt mode directly into the bank accounts of the needy and intended beneficiaries now about sustainable agricultural production and consumption paul chatfield had said and i quote agriculture is the noblest of the alchemy agriculture is the noblest of the alchemy for it turns earth and even manure into gold conferring upon its cultivator the additional reward of health unquote dear members a resilient farming sector remained as the mainstay for the state economy during covid times my government will leave no stone unturned in making agriculture viable and profitable let me briefly highlight some of the schemes 
implemented by the state for for the well-being of the farmers in the state establishment of 10778 raitu bharosa kendralu turned out to be a one step one stop solution to all the agricultural needs along with e crop booking facility that range from providing quality certified key farm inputs to enabling sale of end produce one rbk is established in every village secretariat with the agriculture horticulture fisheries graduate further with an objective of monitoring the prices of commodities daily at rbk rbk level and prioritizing procurements wherever and whenever necessary my government is leveraging digital technologies through the usage of continuous monitoring of agricultural prices and procurement and entire procurement process was reengineered and digitalized